Nathan, stay on guard. If you give this bastard one chance to kill you, he'll do it. Got it. Right. Here goes. Stand back, Nathan. Ah! Freeze! Police! Hands in the air! Ah, pleasure to finally meet you in person, Detective. Anthony Ryger, I finally found you! Indeed. Only took you five years. Did you have fun on your treasure hunt? Quit with the bullcrap. Why have you been doing this? These people had nothing to do with your family! Now, see, that's a tough question. Well, how do I put this? Let me ask you something. Have you ever felt the pain of seeing your family abused by snotty, arrogant bastards? Have you? Who think that they're better than everyone else? I took the initiative and ended it once and for all. I have, actually. Oh? Do tell. My grandfather, he was killed because he got closer to you. Oh, yes. Your grandfather. What a great detective he was. He got close to figuring me out. He had to be liquidated, I'm afraid. What? Yes, MacDonald. You see, I'm the one. I'm the one who killed your grandfather. Me. You bastard! <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> it's priceless. <laughs> Why did you target other people, Riga? You still haven't answered my question. Because they're all the same. Every rich person is nothing but a pompous scumbag. The world is better off without them. You're a sick man, Ryger. Ah, uh, not as sick as the ones I kill. As for you, Detective, you were a fun little game. A game? Yes, you were. You see, after I killed your grandfather, it set everything off. It wasn't expected, but this has been a fantastic game of Catch Me If You Can. I'm afraid all good things must come to an end. Don't you agree? Ryger, make this easy. Put your hands above your head. Hmm, so this is how it ends, huh? You like this room, detective? This room controls everything in his house, from the doors to even the fireplace. Some high-tech stuff. Put your hands up! I advise you watch the living room now. Things are about to get a tad hot! What the? Oh my god! Your choice. Arrest me, or save her. Hang on! I'm coming! Oh, one more thing. Ah! My arm! You bastard! Leave him! We have to save her! See you later, detective. Help! Don't worry! We'll get you out! Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm forever grateful, Detective. <coughs> Detective? <coughs> no! Detective! Get up! Get up now! That's it. He's won. My one chance to get him. And I failed. No, he's not lost. There's still a chance to catch him. Now get your ass off that floor and take him down! Do you hear me? Get up! Uh, you're right. <coughs> you two, get outside and call the fire brigade. <coughs> Ansel, get your ass to the front door! to you. Never mind me. You see that blue car in the distance? After it. Now! Driving like a maniac. 
Thank Christ for the weather. The roads are half empty. <laughs> What's the matter, detectives? Are you too scared to go faster? You'll never catch me at this rate, you wankers! <laughs> He's taking the back roads! On it. <laughs> hey, at this rate I'll be home free! These guys couldn't drive faster than a game! Damn it, Ansel, speed up! Do you want to die in a car crash? Because I don't. I got it. What are you doing, you nut job? Get back in here! Just shut up and keep the bloody car steady! What the hell is he doing? Steady! Stay here. Got you, you bastard. <coughs> no. This ends here. You've caused too much suffering to be allowed to live in this world. Oh, please. I beg of you. Please don't kill me. How many innocent people did you show mercy? None. You expect me to show you some? In your dreams, you psychopath. <coughs> I, I... Goodbye, Anthony Ryger. This has been the craziest night ever. How are you feeling? You must have gotten some scare. I'm good. Still a tad shaky, but good. Just get lots of rest. It's been rough. What do you suppose became of Detective McDonald? I wish I knew. I hope he caught that psycho in the end. I'm sure he got him. He seemed to know what he was doing. He seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, a tad shouty, but nothing major. Ow! My leg. The damn fire caught it. I thought I was done. Riga was dead. But no. I still had one thing to say. Excuse me. You have someone here to see you. Detective! Hey, man. Are you two alright? I know this whole scenario must have been frightening. Yeah, we're good. Just sore. <laughs> so did you get him? Yes, I did. That bastard is no more. Yes! I knew you would do it! <laughs> How's your arm? Sore, but it should be fine. That's good. Listen, I wanted to thank you two for your bravery tonight. This whole ordeal must have been frightening as hell, but you stuck through it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks. I also came here to tell you something else. Oh, what's that? Well... First, I'm going to take off this fake beard. Huh? Now I'll lose that plummy accent. Wait... Are you... Hello, Tara. <gasps> Marika? Yes, Tara. It's me. Dude, where have you been? I came all the way over here because you decided to vanish. Nate, please. Mark, where have you been all these years? I've been investigating all these years. The death of my grandfather kept haunting me. Every day I grew angrier and angrier. Many times I just vented to a pillow. But other times... I took it out on you, Tara. My anger got the best of me at times and I felt horrible for what I did. Eventually I couldn't take it. I had to investigate what happened. I left in pursuit of Riker. If I stayed, it would have been bad for me, but more importantly, it would have been bad for you. I love you, and I didn't want you to suffer for me being a huge jerk. I went under my police alias Jonathan McDonald to make sure I wasn't spotted. 
It's no excuse for what I did, though. For all those years, I made you suffer from worry. I'm a terrible person. I had to tell you to this because I've been feeling guilty about it this whole time. I'll... I'll leave now. I'm sure you don't want to see me again. Mark, wait. Huh? Mark, for five years, I've been worried about you. All I wanted to know is that you were alright. I cared about you more than any person on earth. I knew that when we met, that we were destined to be together. When you walked out, my heart closed to any other man. I wanted you and no one else. I prayed every day for your safety. And now, you're back. If you walk out again, I don't know what I'll do. Mark, please stay here. How can you say that after all I did? That's the past. What's done is done. The reason you left has been solved. You're all right, and that's all I care about. For a while, I thought you... Dad. Tara. Mark, come here. Give me a hug. Please. Tara. Mark. <laughs> I'll never leave you again. Hello, Grandad. It's over. Riger's dead. I avenged you. I know that won't bring you back, but at least it gives us peace of mind. You were my inspiration growing up. You made me all I am today. Just know that I will always love you, no matter what. Goodbye, Grandad. Rest in peace. You did it, Hana. That murderer won't harm anyone ever again. Yeah. I hope he doesn't have any followers or copycats. Oh, don't be silly. Come on, let's head home. It's chilly out here. Yeah. January isn't known for its weather. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Tara. I love you too, Mark. That's the end of our story. I went far to make sure that bastard was dead for good. All was well. I avenged my grandfather. I was never angry again. Life was good. I just hope it stays this way. Forever. I hurt many people on the way. That part, I can never forgive myself for. But I know deep inside me that I'll never do it again. I was a fool. I could have lost everything. In a lot of cases like this, people do. I was one of the lucky ones. There's an old saying, the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. And those who want too little might not get anything at all. I'm going to follow this saying for the rest of my life. If I don't balance myself, I could end up a lot worse.